Hello everybody, this is Irish Gamer Kane, and today we'll be talking about Killzone 3 Multiplayer Beta. And more specifically, I'll talk about the differences between Killzone 3 and Killzone 2. The new weapons, and some of the way the new graphics look. Just pretty much my overall impression of this uh, demo, since this is just a demo, so there could be even more things that are going to be coming out with the full release, we just haven't seen them yet. So, get started, we'll, I'm playing on a bot match, and that way I have all weapons and abilities unlocked, and I can comment on them better. Now we're going to start off with what I consider to be the most important part of any game, the career selection screen. Now, not only do you need a good selection of classes, but you, it is very important if you have a good selection of weapons, primary, secondary, explosives, and uh, a skill is always nice as well. This is for variety reasons. If you do not have enough variety in a game, it will become dull fast. So, from what I've seen so far, they have a pretty decent amount of variety for each class and the weaponry for each class. Killzone 2 was kind of limited at some points. But I'll talk more about the guns later. First, I want to discuss the graphical differences between Killzone 3 and Killzone 2. Now, the Red Dragon from Battlestrats.com has recently reported in his latest gaming news video that a developer of the game has commented saying that they have been able to utilize 100% of the PlayStation 3's TPU potential. And it's clearly evident in this game because the sound and the visuals are just breathtaking. I mean, visually speaking, I think this game gives almost all the first-person shooters a run for its money. Because it is just stunning. I found myself, while I'm even doing the commentary, just stopping and watching the gameplay because I... Again, not commentating because I can't help it. It's just, you know, I'm so enthralled. It's gorgeous. Oh, here, here's a quick weapon thing. You're about to see the mortar drop. Look at that. Now, as far as I know, they didn't have that in Killzone 2, so that's kind of a cool add-on. But I'm getting sidetracked again. I'm supposed to be talking about graphics. So now I'll discuss the differences between Killzone 2 and Killzone 3 graphically. Now here's Killzone 2. Graphically, this game's on par with most other first-person shooters. The maps are well detailed, as well as the character models. The background also provides some decent eye candy as well. But this is a comparison video, so I'm going to show you some clips from Killzone 2 and Killzone 3 comparatively. Here's Killzone 2, Assault Rifle and Pistol. Alright, now here's Killzone 3, Assault Rifle and Pistol. As you see in Killzone 3, the details are much crisper, and the sound is just unbelievably clear and lifelike. Next is a Killzone 2 melee kill. followed by a Killzone 3 melee kill. And you can see, in Killzone 3 you have a execution attack like you do in Battlefield Bad Company 2. Which brings me to the weapons of Killzone 3. Which there are some new ones. There's a new sniper rifle, a new SMG, and I think there may even be a new light machine gun. And there's quite a few new pistols as well. A shotgun pistol, a grenade pistol, or aka the battle pistol, and a machine pistol as well as a revolver, which you saw earlier in this video. All in all, the new weapons are pretty cool. And the returning weapons, they revamped them just a little bit to give them better sound, and I think they handle them much better, too, compared to the Killzone 2. But this has been with my personal experience, so others might feel differently. But overall, I think they did a good job improving on all the weapons. Now, the last thing I'm going to talk about is the game modes. They have all the classics from Killzone 2, and they've also added on two more. Now, I haven't had any personal experience with them yet, but more is always better, so here's hoping that they're fun in the final release. 
Well, that about does it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found it informative. And look for future Killzone 3 videos when it comes out February 22nd. Until then, check out my other videos at Flip TV, YouTube, and on Battlestrats.com. And check out the description for the Red Dragons gaming news video, the latest one. We discuss this Killzone 3, Battlefield 3, Halo, as well as Bulletstorm. I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited about Killzone 3, so let's see what happens. All Hellgas troops currently serving will receive the latest in modern warfare technology, such as man's new best friend, flying robots. Come here, Rex. Rex. Good boy. Now let's go kill some- Hey! Hey! Ah, oh, damn it. It's about as reliable as a real dog. Hey, Pete! Pete! Get the net.